Welcome to Point Blank this week. Today we want to continue the topic that we started last week concerning the requirements or to be part of the marriage supper. And we looked at uh, some 10 nuggets uh, to check on. So the first one, let's recap is to show mercy to others. The second is to keep the Ten Commandments. The third one is to forsake worldly pleasures for his sake. He shall receive a hundredfold. And the fourth one was to feed others, give others water to drink, help strangers clothe those that are naked. And the fifth nugget also was to believe in Jesus. The sixth nugget was to do the work of evangelism. The seventh we say that it was to eat the Lord's table. And the eighth was to, that Jesus has the words of life. And the ninth nugget was to listen and follow Jesus' voice, for he knows us. And the tenth nugget we say that it is to hate our life in this world. So let us continue with the nuggets as we conclude this week. So the eleventh nugget we're going to look is that Jesus has the power over all flesh. Jesus has the power over all flesh. If you read the book of John 17 verses 2, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to us, many as thou hast given him. Praise be to God. And I believe as the weather is raining, it is a blessing to have rain in January. Praise be to God. So Jesus has the power of all flesh. Uh, the stuff, the nugget is that we need to know the true God. Uh-huh. The Bible says in the book of John 17, verses 3, And this is the life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Uh So we need to know the true God. So the true God is that uh, this is life eternal, that they might know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. So Jesus is the the one who was sent by God. Praise be to God. So we need to know that true God. Praise be to God. Verse uh, 13, the 13th nugget is that, uh, we look at the, we need to fight the good fight of faith. The ninth, the tenth uh, nugget is that we need to fight the good fight of faith. If you read the book of First Timothy six twelve, the Bible says that fight the good fight of, of, uh, of faith, lay hold of on eternal life, where unto the heart uh, also called and has bro- professed a good profession before many witnesses. The Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy 6, 12 of that, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, where unto the heart also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So therefore we need to fight the good fight of faith. The first nugget is to lay up in store a good foundation. We need to lay up in a store a, a good foundation. If you read First Timothy six nineteen, the Bible says laying up in store for themselves a good foundation again is the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. Praise be to God. So we need to lay up in store a good foundation. The the 15th nugget is that God promised eternal life. God promised eternal life. If you read the Bible, that is, if you read the Bible in the book of Titus 1, 2, the Bible says, in hope of eternal life, which God has uh, in, uh, let me repeat in hope of eternal life which God that cannot lie promised before the world began so God who didn't lie has promised uh, before the world began eternal life so it is a promise to receive the eternal life praise be to God the 16th nugget is that we become heirs by grace the Bible says in the book of Titus 3 7 that that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to his, according to the hope of eternal life. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Praise be to God. So we become heirs by grace, not by might. Okay. Uh, the 17th nugget I want to share with you is that it was manifested unto us. Uh-huh. Let's read First John 1 verses 2. The Bible says, For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and shew unto you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. Praise be to God. 